Sri Bhuban, Bhubaneshwar Kalita. Thank you, Madam, for giving me the opportunity. I'm very happy to see a person from my spouse paternity in the chat. I congratulate you. Uh, Madam, I, uh, I rise to support the John Vishwas Amendment of Provisions Bill 2022. Uh, as you all know, when our visionary leader, Sri Narendra Modiji, took over in 2014, he has one cardinal principle which he enunciated among the people of this country is minimum government and maximum governance. But this minimum government and maximum governance is not just a slogan. Over the last nine years, he has pursued, he has taken all kind of reforms, including judicial reforms, social reforms, and administrative reforms, by which uh, the, con the country has become uh, a, a fruitful governance has been given to this country. And today, we are, in 2014, we were in the 10th position in, uh, in the world ranking of emerging economies. Today, we are in fifth position of the economy, emerging economy, and next in within next five years, within the visionary and evil leadership of Narendra Modi ji, we will become one of the three emerging economies and most prosperous economies of the world. Madam, how, how his leadership and how this country has reached to this position? Number one, if we analyze here that our ease of doing business in, uh, in 2013, we were 132 out of 185. But by 2020, we reached at 63. Yes, after that, there is no, no ranking system. But today, we may be in, in one, two, or three position in reforms. Madam, uh, how it has been done? It has been done by reducing the deterrence of our progress, of our, uh, of our blockage. Now, how it has been done? In the, uh, by uh, this bill, this bill, I congratulate the Honorable Minister for bringing this revolutionary bill uh, for ease of doing business and taking the country forward. How it has been done? The bill proposes to amend 183 provisions in 42 central acts administered by 19 ministries and departments. Now, this deterrence has been removed, and the main objective of the bill is to decriminalize minor offenses. This is one deterrent that has been removed by this bill, and the bill, uh, the need of the bill was to reduce the undue pressure on the judicial system to create a fair way of, to decide how strong the punishment should be for wrongdoing based on how serious the offense is. The bill uh, also plays an important role in the government uh, uh, to give maximum, govern uh, maximum governance. And the reason and the highlights of those provisions are to amend 40 in amendment of 42 acts on the key laws in uh, uh, key laws of um, among these was the indian forest act 1927 the air prevention control of pollution act 1981 the information technology act 2000 the environment protection act 1986 the copyright act 1957 the patents act 1970 the railways act 1989 the food safety and standards act 2006. Now, how the decriminalization has been done? The bill decriminalizes, decriminalizes uh, certain offenses by replacing imprisonment with monetary penalties instead of a fine. Offenses under Information Technology Act 2000 can lead to imprisonment for imprisonment or fine. The bill introduces a penalty of, uh, of a penalty up to rupees 25 lakhs. Offenses under the 
Patents Act 1970 involving falsely represented articles face a fine. The bill replaces it with a penalty up to 10 lakhs rupees. Uh, the bill incorporated the committee system, the, as has been mentioned by uh, many com uh, some committee members of the Joint Committee, what all has been incorporated in this bill. So I, will, I am not going to repeat that. I only, I only want to uh, uh, highlight one point, that the fines and penalties of various offenses in the specified act will be increased by 10% of the minimum amount every three years. The bill also introduces compounding of offenses in some provisions so the offenders can settle their cases by paying a certain amount of amount without going through the court process. Now, there are other, uh, other provisions which can be appreciated, like appointment of adjudicating officers. And now, what is the benefits of the bills? This bill has brought judicial re re reforms in a, in a system, uh, in a very uh, indirect system, like with over 5.2 crore court cases pending in India, the highest in the world. This bill will help in reducing case pendency to some extent and facilitate a more efficient and effective justice dispensation. The bill also being referred to as the ease of business bill will foster trust-based governance by ensuring that, ensuring that citizens, businesses, the government departments operate without fear of imprisonment for minor, technical, or procedural defaults. Madam, it would accelerate investment decisions due to smoother processes and attracting more foreign investment. I, I'm, uh, there are some other uh, suggestions in the bill. I'm not going to repeat that, but I will very well uh, express some of my concerns in this bill, which will, uh, which uh, Honorable Minister will, uh, will uh, enlighten us uh, how this is, uh, how this bill is going to overcome this. The issue number one is omission of offences under the Act. The bill removes certain offences from the Act. The offences committed by post office officers like theft and fraud are being omitted. The relevance of these omissions of the bill's intent is unclear. I think Honourable Minister will throw some light on this. And the second and most important provision is privacy concern from omissions. The offences related to illegal opening of postal articles are removed by the, from the bill. The postal articles are given in confidence, in trust, but if it is open, the privacy does not remain. Privacy issues could arise due to the removal of these provisions. Personal data such as health insurance and credit card information may be compromised. Removal of these safeguards might contradict the right of privacy recognized by the Supreme Court. Existing laws, like the Indian Penal Code, do not cover these over. violations without hate, without hate or misappropriation. I congratulate the Minister for bringing this revolutionary bill, and I hope he will uh, address my concerns. Thank you very much. Thank you. Honorable Sri Ganesh.